Hi guys, I'm Joshua Jabudre from Hammer Play Studios. Uh, I've been training people for seven years inside uh, in-house studio. Um, most of them are non-programmers and some of them do have some programming languages. Um, in most of the cases that I have trained, right? Um, um, we start right away uh, with giving them a project, right? Whatever knowledge that they already have in programming, assuming that you guys have some sort of programming background, probably have an engineering background or as simple as watching some YouTube videos and uh, just messed it out with the Unity engine or Unreal engine. So you have some understanding of programming so that I don't have to teach you what's a variable or what's a for loop or what's a do while loop. Uh, even though we sort of like cover those basics and uh, tell you like what does what and when to use them. Um, but there's an assumption that you guys have just um, just played around with some programming knowledge or some, uh, even if you are not done any game programming, it's completely fine. Uh, you can be completely coming from a, a, a web design background or a web development background. It's completely fine with that. Um, so right away, like when we start this program, we'll give you a project uh, to start with uh, in the first two weeks. Um, just to put you out of your comfort zone so that you would probably see um, where you actually lack so that in, in our house in our studio whenever any intern or developers start right uh, we give them an entire project to start with then we start to slowly take off the load from them and they also figure out the entire process from start to end right away uh, so they will see where they're good at and where they require a feedback right away um, so, uh, as any starters, right, when you're given a project for a week or two, um, it will be a small cat casual project, it could be a runner game, it could be a, a flapping bird game, but you have to probably solve it. So, by the end of the day, any programmer, uh, if you just break down, it's just a problem solver by the end of the day. So, I'll give you a problem right, to start with, a, a bigger problem or a, sm a smaller problem that you have to solve. And then once you sort it out, then I'll point you out which directions that you can probably fix yourself and what technologies that you need to probably learn and which areas of programming that you need to develop more, right? And then from right there, we'll take that course to say a month or two, giving other smaller projects and other modules that you can experiment with so that Programming is not like an entire theory process. It will be a practical application based on the projects that you have, right? So then right away after two or three months, then you would probably know if you do an end-to-end -end project, right? Say that would probably involve UI, AI, game mechanics, how to work with the 3D file, how to import and export some art assets that you can bring inside, how to work and talk with another um, artist, Right? Those things are sort of like covered right from the first month to all the way to three months, right? So once those projects are done and those will be automatically committed to your GitHub or something, now that you all already have something to show right from the second to third month, I'm not assuming or saying that you would be a programmer right then. This is more like a playground, a sandbox for you to figure out which area that you are actually good at. So once you see all those notions, right, then you would figure out, oh, this is sort of programming that I'm more inclined to, or even wor like the worst case would be, I think I'm, I'm figuring out programming is not my piece of cake, right? Once you see the other art assets or anything, you would sort of figure out maybe art is my side. So uh, that's what I said. This is a more like a sandbox for you guys to play with and figure out what and what and where your core skills lie. So right after third part, right? I think that's where the program would probably branch out based on where you're good at. So if you guys are good at AI, I think we'll bring some AI mentors to coach you more in those areas so that you can specialize and show this is what I'm good at, but I also know all of the general stuff to actually bring a project on board, right? It could be more than one or two things. So based on that, we'll, I think we'll mentor and bring people from the industry to teach you guys how to branch out and try out even other engines. Um, we'll try to keep right after the second or third month, we'll try to keep um, engine agnostic. That means we won't be just teaching you Unity. Uh, we'll give you other 
projects and challenges that require you to explore other engines and why so that you don't get caught up in the whole um, um, the war between unity or unreal or getting all over this crazy debates those are pointless in most cases so uh, try to be as engine agnostic as possible programming agnostic as possible so by the end of the day you guys will be problem solvers so when i'm giving you a project or a problem to solve you get to work on uh, you start to break down the entire process and be better programmers or developers so that's that's the that's the way that we've been doing it in house uh, and that has been working for us for seven years so i think this type of approach should work in this mentorship program for you guys Thank <laughs> you.